There's been a chill in the air in Washington, D.C. this week, in part because of frosty negotiations over the Senate's health care bill. Early Monday morning, the Senate voted 60 to 40 along party lines to move the president's plan for health care reform towards a final vote this week. Joining us now from our D.C. Bureau is Jake Sherman, a congressional reporter for Politico. Good morning, Jake. Thanks for being with us. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, the test vote on Monday went through. Are there any hurdles that you foresee for this not to happen by Christmas? It, at this point, it doesn't look like it. At this point, it looks like the Democrats have it locked up. The 60 votes are in place. Um, and again, those are test votes. So, I mean, this legislation, once it comes back from the House, could still have some hurdles. But it looks like the Senate will move this bill out of the body probably by Christmas Eve. Let's talk about some of these deals cut. We saw with um, Senator Ben Nelson and a number of other smaller deals um, to get those last few votes for the 60 vote count for Democrats. Some Republicans up in arms about this. Is this politics as usual or is this a new take on the way things are done? No, this is totally politics as usual. Um, it's horse trading. It goes on in Washington, and it has gone on in Washington for as long as there's been Congress. Um, they are sweeteners. They allow these people held out. Ben Nelson held out and ended up getting a lot of money for the government for his state, so he can go back to his state to some people who might not like the bill when he votes for it, and he could say, listen, I got a lot for us in this bill, and um, while you may not like it, this will benefit you in some way. And it's totally business as usual, and Republicans have done the same thing. So, uh, and Harry Reid vigorously defended these efforts today and said, if you didn't get something in this bill, then that's what you should be worried about, because you're really not doing your job if you didn't get something in this bill. Interesting. Well, a new poll is saying that 82% of Americans now believe that an overhaul of the health care system will help recharge the economy, so people are starting to see more clearly, I think, that link between the economy and health care. What do you think about that? Well, I think this is a message the Democrats have been trying to push the entire time, that the, if we overhaul the health care system, then it will help our economy, it will take down the deficit, it will create jobs. Republicans are saying it's going to be a job killer. Now, something interesting that Harry Reid said this morning, he said he saw some polling that, um, th that health care is 10 percent 10 points better than it was before the weekend just because they cleared these test votes. And his contention is the more people know about this bill, the more they'll like it. So I think that Democrats are seeing uh, Senator Reid's words ring true. They're seeing that these are, that people are starting to support this bill according to their polling. And I'm sure that's a, a welcome sign for Democrats. No, I think a lot of people got a better sense of the House bill and what's in it because we just heard more about it. Um, tell us how that differs from the Senate's version of the bill. The biggest difference is the public option. The House version does have a public option and the Senate version does not. And that's the difference that's going to be harped on a lot over the next couple of weeks is the public option, which has become almost to symbolize this health care debate. Um, and the Senate bill the, the Senate could not get a public option, not even close. So when they go to conference in the, in the um, next couple weeks, that's going to be the issue that everyone has their eyes on is the public option. And abortion language is a little bit different, but the other differences are, are kind of small. Um, the public option will not pass the Senate. Senator Lieberman and Senator Nelson said they will not vote for a bill in the Senate in fi for final passage that has a public option. So that's going to be the hurdle that I think Congress needs to jump and needs to clear, is finding out a compromise on the public option. And it doesn't look at, at this point that the, the final legislation will have any kind of public option. All right. Senators, we'll have a busy week before Christmas. Absolutely. Jake Sherman from Politico. Jake, thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me.